Hello. In this video, I want to do a brief introduction to the data structure called tries. So tries are a very interesting data structure that are typically used to represent either sets of strings or you can use them to represent maps from a string to something else. Uh, but unlike, say, a hash map where the, the type that you use is a key uh, or a hash set, in which case it's the, the values you're storing, those can be a broad variety. Tries are specially kind of optimized to work with strings. And so to illustrate this, I want to start off by looking at a full try on a particular set of words. So here is a set of words, uh, ankle, anchor, or angle, anchor, ant, and about able, bear, bug, bee. Uh, you can imagine the situation where your problem that you're solving is you have some dictionary and you want to be able to look up words in the dictionary quickly. Uh, there are a number of different things that you can do with, with these tries. Um, and we'll probably come back in, in a second video and talk about uh, some of the other applications. But the first, all I want to do is, is basic set operations of we want to be able to add, we want to be able to check containment, we want to be able to remove. Um, but first we have to understand the structure. So these are my words. This is what the try for those words would look like. So a try is a tree, but it is a multi-way tree. So it is not a binary tree. You're not uh, set to only have you know, two children. They aren't a left and a right. They are however many you have. And in particular with this, you can see that because your children are determined by letters, in the English language it would be very common to have potentially 26 children. That assumes you don't care about uh, capitalization. If you include capitalization and punctuation, you could easily have a, a node with 100 children under it. So the try always starts off with a root, and that root is always a node. Uh, whereas in, for example, a binary search tree, your root will often start off as null. In the try, you will have a node that is there. And that node, uh, the outgoing edges actually label which letters uh, we're talking about. And inside of the internal representation, that will be represented. There are a variety of ways you can represent this. I think probably the best way is to have a hash map from the character to the child node. So this node stores a hash map, and that hash map is keyed by characters, and then the child node is, is what is referred to by it. And so I think it is best to, to think of the letters as being on these edges. It is the connection from here to here that actually has the letter on it. Uh, in addition, each node stores whether or not it is a valid key. And so you'll notice that all of my leaves down here are keys, uh, but I have some, some internal nodes that are keys as well. And let's, let's make sure we understand why. So let's start with our first word here, angle. That is in our set because from the root, the first letter is A, and we have an edge for A, which takes us here. And then we have the letter N, and that takes us here. And then G, which takes us here. L, we come down to here. And last, E. And then this node here I have colored in. Uh, that indicates that the Boolean value saying whether or not it is a key is set to true. And all of our leaves should be set to true, otherwise we're kind of wasting space. We'll come back to that when we talk about delete operations. So angle is here because A-N-G-L-E took us to the word angle. Anchor, A-N-C-H-O-R uh, is over here. Um, the thing to note about these tries, and when you talk about comparing tries, because tries are just gonna be sets or maps, you could have used a hash map. You could have used a tree map. Uh, one of our standard binary search trees is the map. The advantage of the try is the, well, there are, there are a number of advantages. Some of it can be performance, but a lot of it is memory overhead because, and you'll note that I picked words that all start with similar beginnings here. You reuse any prefix. In fact, the try is, is sometimes referred to as a prefix tree because all of the prefixes use the same nodes. So you tend to use a lot less memory representing a large number of strings in a try, especially if those strings have the uh, shared aspects at the beginning. A standard example of tries that often comes up in interviews is 
for example, you're a web spider and you are indexing web pages and you're storing the URLs. Well, if you go to say amazon.com or google.com, turns out a lot of the stuff you're going to hit to start with is going to have that same set of letters. So www.amazon.com is gonna be at the beginning of every one of those strings and the try will more efficiently store that because you will, will keep that prefix. You won't have it duplicated in, in every string as you would with either a hash set or a, a tree set based on a BST. Um, now, and then ant, A, N, T. And once again, every at the end of every word, we have a node that is has a Boolean that is true inside of it. It says it is a key. A, N, an, is this node right here. So it is one of the internal nodes that is turned to true because it represents a valid word. There are more words that are longer than it, but, but it is a valid word. Uh, about A, B, O, U, T, able, A, B, L, E. And then all of those were the A words. Uh, all the Bs are over here. I have bear and bug. So hopefully this shows you kind of what the structure looks like. Uh, how would we search on this? So, so if I gave you this, this data structure, if you had this tree, and we were going to ask, does the word uh, bear occur in here? Well, uh, we would start at the root, and the first letter is B, so we have that edge, and we'd uh, come over here. From here, we're now looking at the E, and so we'd follow down that edge, it exists. We're looking at an A, we have that edge, we follow it. We have an R, we have that edge, we follow it. And this node is true. Okay, and so at that point, we would be able to say, we got to the end of our word, and we are sitting on a key node. Uh, let's take a, uh, a word that doesn't exist in this. So for example, if I had the word apple and I wanted to search for that, well, we start at the root, we have an A, uh, but when I go looking for the P, it doesn't exist in this tree, so I would say I didn't find it. Similarly, um, let's pick a different, uh, a different word that's not a real word. I'm just gonna go with A-N-C. Um, we'd start here, A-N-C. Now we have a node here, but it is not labeled as a key node. The Boolean is not true. And therefore, when we, uh, when we ask, is that in our dictionary, the answer would be false. Okay, so this video, we've talked about the structure of a try. We've talked about how we search for things on a try. We'll come back in the next video and we will look at uh, how we can insert and how we can delete from these tries.